Right, so I'm going to be rebooting my machine here uh, to try to get into the BIOS and make sure that my VTX or virtualization settings are set. Uh, so I'm just going to do a restart. I have somebody here looking it up for me really quick, what key press I, I need to press. So he, he's telling me it's delete, so I'm trusting. So when I get to the, uh, the system boot screen, you know, maybe if I did a cold boot, it would be better. Sometimes it doesn't. So the moment I see that logo. All right, so there we are. So on my system, the hot key to get into the BIOS was delete. And so this is the system level uh, setup screen. So this is not Windows. This is what sits on the computer before you go into Windows and actually controls all the hardware and everything so that Windows can actually boot. Uh, I'm trying to keep in mind that I'm recording this video for people to watch on YouTube, sort of. Um, but what I need to do is check in here and make sure that my virtualization settings are on. And of course, I don't have screen capture software for this. I'm just using my phone. Um, looks like all this stuff is okay. So I'm going to go to advanced. Um, and then notice right here where it says Intel virtualization technology is enabled. VTD is enabled. And some systems, they list this as VTX. But basically, I'm all set up to go. Right, so I'm okay. Uh, if you were in your system and you see anything about virtualization or VTD, VTX, or whatever, however your system lists it, if these are not enabled, you cannot actually run a virtual operating system on your platform. That's really kind of the key. The only way to get into this is to boot your system, get into the setup screen, and navigate through here. On my system, I can actually use a mouse to move around. On a lot of them, you can only use the keyboard. It just depends on who built the BIOS, right? This is an MSI laptop. Uh, their BIOS is actually pretty advanced. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a save and exit. Um, and actually, I didn't really change anything, did I, right? So I'm going to actually say discard changes and exit. But for you, if you're changing something, make sure you say save changes and exit. And then it will go ahead and reboot. <clears throat> All right, so I actually have to press enter on that one. So now my system is rebooting. When I'm rebooted uh, back into Windows, I should be able to run a virtual operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here.